X-bar arm blasting. Today we're going to do 10 sets of 10. We're going to rest 20 seconds in between sets and 90 seconds in between the exercises. We are going to do six total exercises, three for biceps, three for triceps. Right now we're going to start off with the bicep curl, elbows in front. Now you'll see, I've got two bands on here. I could have chose one, but I like the idea of strip setting. What is strip setting? That means I've done as many as I can do, and as soon as uh, I can't do any more, but I haven't done enough reps, I have to take off some weight. Today, that means take off one band. So, my foot is gonna go over both bands for now, and if I do exhaust, or you do, before we hit our sets, acknowledging you're gonna be following me, go ahead and just step off. I'll show you guys an example as we go. All right, get ready. Now, from this position, the arms are going to be in front. They're gonna run into the lat, okay? So kick your elbows up in front, bring them here. You will not do any of this. Your elbows will not move, all right? That's the idea of biceps, it's kind of hinge training. The idea being that only your forearms move towards you or away from you. Make sure your foot is in the center. All right, my hands are locked, elbows in front. Stand up, turn, go, 10. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, come on, nine, ten. Rest, 20 seconds. I'm choosing not to move my, my foot position because I know we don't get a lot of rest here. We're gonna do 100 reps, guys. Two, slow, three, four, five. Notice nothing on me is moving. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Rest. One of the things I like about these bands is that when you hit the top of the curl, you're still adding resistance. Acknowledging the further you lift up, the harder it gets, right? With a dumbbell, usually you miss out on that at the top and it kind of does a rest. Whew. Really love this thing. All right, gather yourself, 20 into it. Whew. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, one, X. Rest, 20 seconds. We've done 30, now you should be getting a pop. My friends, I wanna to explain to you guys something. As I'm doing this, that is straight, it always will be straight, that will never be straight. So if I say straighten your arms, please straighten them. That's straight, once again, that is not. So if you look down and your arms are here, here or here, acknowledging that that's not straight, you're not doing what we're trying to do here today. Boom, straighten them. In your grip. Beautiful. I'm going to set mine down right on top of my leg there for a second because we're burning good. Make sure you're taking your 20 seconds. Shake it out. Give it a stretch. Sometimes I like to pop my elbow down. Okay, I'm straightening my arm and then I'm twisting my wrist. Okay, my arm doesn't twist, just my wrist. Getting close. Get ready. Come on. I the time I have with it. Ah, one, two, three, four, five. Six, come on. Seven, eight, nine. All right, take your 20 seconds. All right, should be 50. Halfway there, shake it out. Wherever you are, in your hotel room, in your basement, hiding from your kids, whatever you're doing, keep it going. It's supposed to feel uncomfortable, it's supposed to take you out of your zone that everyday monotonous zone. This is the most alive you're gonna be. Get alive.
Come on. Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. It should be burning right about here, getting stiff in the elbows. That's normal. The pump you're feeling right now, that's awesome. You're breathing uh, oxygen and muscle and, and blood and you're filling it up and, and that is a good thing. So as it gets uncomfortable, just know you're doing it right. One. Now for example sakes, I'm gonna take off the, the green. This is my superset. Seven, eight, nine, nine. See how fast that was? Take your rest. We've got 30 left. I was able to take off the weight very quickly and it was uh, transparent to the set that I was dropping weight. So you really wanna make sure that that is a very quick transition, otherwise, well, it's a lot like uh, taking a rest, right? Let's go. Put my weight back on. One. Come on. Oh, yeah. 20 left. while you're here, keeping elbows in one spot, you're taking this pain, this discomfort, whatever it computes to you, it's good as long as it's not normal. <sighs> Be proud of yourself right now. We have 20 left. Grab your bar. Let's go. Elbows in front. One, two, one, three. All right, 10 left on this. Great job. It's like a warm up, isn't it? We've almost done 100 reps. This is high volume training. It's meant to be that way. Notice they haven't moved five feet. In fact, I haven't moved a foot. In fact, my foot hasn't moved. Stay in one position and fight. Last set, come on. One, be proud of yourself. Two, do something you know you don't want to. Three. Hey, be a machine. Nine, curl it. Nine. All right, rest. Woo, 90 second rest. Bounce around, do what you gotta do. You just took some pain. So I'm supposed to feel discomfort. Right now we're, we're training this part. Okay, this is volume training. I put my elbow in front here for the side position, right? Now we're going to take this elbow simply and put it back here. I'm going to leave it back here. Once again, from here to here. Now when I curl, it's going to be here, okay? Now this, once again, not to be redundant, will always be straight. Please, the trick to biceps, the secret to biceps, I'm giving it away right here, right now. Don't move your elbow. I screamed it. Don't move your elbow. If you got your headphones in, you see me staring at you funny in the gym, stop moving your elbows, okay? I'm trying not to be obnoxious here, but I'm also trying to be a little bit obnoxious because when you're in that pain uh, game, the, the pain threshold, trying to build the biceps, what's gonna happen is, is you're gonna forget. Don't forget, don't move your bicep. All you're doing is making the curl easier, and if your intention is to build biceps, wouldn't you want your bicep to do the work? When you do this, a lot of other muscle groups engage. You don't want to do any of this. We started here. Now we're going to here, and it will stay there for every single rep I do, and for you too. Now, we're gonna do the 10 sets of 10 again, exact same protocol as before. Should be coming to the end of our 90 second rest here in a second. I'm going to go ahead and do the same weight. Now, I don't know if I can do this weight the whole time, and in fact, just for fun, I'm gonna switch legs. I kept my left one in front. Now we're going with the right. Different wide position. Go, elbows back. Two, three, four. You have to lean back a little bit. Five, straighten your arms all the way. Six, nine, eight, nine. All right, rest it, you get 20 seconds. What do we have, 90 left? <laughs> Good job, guys.
Who's happy they bought an X-Bar right now? Huh? This just burns. Building biceps in your basement with David Kimberly. Come on. One, two, three, four. Take your mind somewhere. Five, six. Remember where you're here. Seven. Come on. Okay, we're doing good, we're doing good. Shake them out, remember our stretches, drop it down. You pull your elbow. The idea is just to straighten the bicep, to really pull this, okay? Active rest, throwing down. Let's get ready to go again. Three, two, oh. Elbows back. Stop moving your body, Kimberly. If you're moving your body, lean into it. Keep your elbows back. All right, you know that hurt. All right. That is 30. I've done 130 reps, my friends. If it makes it easy for you, and it does me too, you know what? I'm gonna start counting from 30 to 40. Isn't that nice? Different way of looking at it, it's all perceptions. Sometimes you don't know how many you have left. Sometimes you do. Today, we do. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. Keep your elbows back. Six, seven, eight, Yeah, all right. Now I might have to be strip setting here pretty quick. Nothing wrong with that. That's why they set it up that way. So you'll see me, probably my 40. I might have to jump onto, most likely I'll get rid of the green. Green's a little bit lighter weight. What do we remember? What do we remember? Elbows back, body doesn't move. Let's go. One. Green real quick. Oops. Come on. Seven. Seven. No matter the distraction, finish your set. 20 seconds. You saw that thing wrap around me? So what? Do you, see, do you see me stop? It's not because I'm on camera. It's because I'm following a protocol. I'm going to hurry up and get that out of my way. That didn't happen again. All right. Start with both straps. Starting to get sweaty, feeling good. Get this over if it's on you. There we are. Elbows back. 50. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. Come on. Sixty. All right. Get that one with the same weight. Each set's different. You never know when you're gonna peter out or when your pain threshold, you're gonna hit it. 40 left. Camera guy, I'm doing the right counting, right? Am I counting this right? I get in pain too, guys. Sometimes you forget what number you're on. You're lucky you get to follow me. I have to do this in front of you and be an educator. And an example of how not to move your elbows. Go. One. How to straighten your arms. Four. Sixty-five. Sixty-six. Sixty-seven. Sixty-eight. Sixty-nine. Come on. Seven. All right. Thirty left. <laughs> Export home videos. How is it? You sweating? I am. Simple setup. Me, black wall, and an X-bar. No more than you have. You, a nice TV, streaming online, Mr. Kimberly in an X bar. Who cares about what your background is? Who cares how good your lighting is? As long as you train hard and do it the right way. Anyone? 
Sweet two. Three. So four. Who wants biceps? Six. They look so cool. Seven. Come on, ladies. Who wants to be strong? Seven, eight. All right. All right. 20 left. 20 left. Arms blasting addition. X bar. How you feeling? How you feeling, guys? Are you smiling? Are you alive? Glad you woke up 20 minutes earlier. Join me in front of the TV for some sweat. And what are we doing right now? High volume training also means we get the afterburn effect. What does that mean? That means, ready one, ready two, I'll tell you in a second. Ready three, ready four, ready five, ready six, ready seven, Ooh. ready Ready. Good. Wow, come on. 90. Afterburn. What's the afterburn? Ooh, enjoy your 20 seconds. Afterburn. Afterburn is when your body burns more calories after an event, a physical event. Some call it hit training, some call it volume training, some call it just working out. Whatever you want to call it, it's physical activity. And if it was hard enough, your body will burn more calories for up to two, three, and four hours after that event, that exercise, that trauma, whatever it was. Last 10, one, come on, two, come on, three, come on, four, come on, get that bar to your chin, left, come on, don't move your elbows, six, ah, hey, hey, warming up, aren't we? Ten, take a 90 second rest, bounce it out, move it around, shake it out, I like to shake mine, get it loose, you do not get more than 90 seconds. This is a chance to gather yourself for me to tell you what we're gonna do next. Once again, we're not gonna move our place. In this position, we're gonna put hands over the bar and come up. Hands over the bar and come up. Now, once again, we have the two different bicep curl positions when our hands and palms are facing up, right? So we were here and we were here for flipping the, uh, the wrist. We're gonna be here. So, palms down, here and here. Once again, not here, we're gonna be here. I like to roll it in front of my lat, put it there and it kinda, I'm a little sweaty right now, but it'll keep it there. So, however you do it, rolling forward, you find a good spot and then it's here and here, okay? Now, works a different muscle group. Should be hitting all three right now. This is gonna be 300 reps of biceps. You can't beat this, all right? My heart rate monitor, uh, broke down on me, battery died, so otherwise I'd be wearing it, we'd have a good idea of how many calories we're burning. But, because our sets of accountability are sweat, and it's not that hot in here, feeling pretty good about my efforts, and you should too, if it's not super hot in your basement and you're sweating, give yourself a pat on the back. And, uh, well, find some inspiration and motivation, because we're gonna have to get started again. If I'm not enough, if I'm not enough, let's go. Hands are gonna be inside. I'm gonna go left foot forward this time. I'm gonna go inner grip. All right, here we go. One, two. Only well, have to come up to 90 degrees. Three, four, five, six. A little heavy. Then, all right. Take a 20 second rest. I am going to go ahead and take off this green for now. You guys understand strip setting, I think. So we'll get rid of this. Put it over here with my other bands. And be ready to go here in a second. Get placed in the middle. Be getting ready for me. Come on. Come on. Biceps with the X. Bar, let's go. Enjoy this resistance. Come on. X. It's long and consistent. Strong wrists. Come on, strong wrists. Then, all right. Whoo, that's 20. Okay, when you guys see me coming up, my wrist isn't doing this. Okay, I'm not breaking my wrist. Super strong wrists. 
If you get super tired, you can do that. But you try not to. You try to keep that wrist straight and strong. You punch somebody, you don't punch them like that, right? Same theory. You want to be strong from our knuckle all the way through our elbow. All right? Getting ready for round three. Set three, whatever you want to call it. Ooh, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Come on. All right. Take you 20 seconds. Working our way on the 40. Now, heard one of my favorite sayings of the day, and I'm kind of reliving that right now. I'm doing this for you guys. In the gym, I suffer, I push myself through things, and I do that for me. But more importantly, when I'm doing that, I'm doing that for somebody I love, some theory, some goal, something that is more than myself. Right now, if you find yourself tired, you're 100, 230 reps into biceps, and you wanna quit, think about somebody or something you love more than yourself. Let's go. One, two, three. I love this bar. I love you guys. I with my mother. Come on. All right. I moved a little bit on that one. Don't you move. All right. What are we on? We're on 40 now? Is that right? All right. Whoo. I don't have much to say for this. I'm going to rest myself. Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Think about your biceps staying in front. Think about your arms straightening every time. Think about why you want biceps. Ladies, your arms jiggling. Not after three months of this. Men. You want that vein to stick through your bicep? Four. Pump some blood into it. Five. Forty six. Forty seven. Forty eight. Forty nine. Fifty. All right. Ooh, 250 reps. 50 left to go. Whatever you want to think about, however your perception is. Once again, I like to talk about perceptions. Why? Because they take my mind away from that initial woe is me, my arms hurt, I'm still fat, I still don't have the big arms I want, I'm in the middle of suffering. Yeah, you're suffering, but I promise you, you follow a correct diet. So you know what you're eating, why you're eating it, when you're eating it. You sit in front of this tea every morning and train with me. One, two, you will reach your goal. Three, 54, 55. 6, 57, 58, come on, don't let her drink you down, 59, 60, all right, go to the left, go to the left, go to the left, go to the left, don't let anybody knock on that door behind you, don't you dare hit pause, don't you find some excuse, you don't need water, drink water during the next 90 seconds, no timeouts, do not leave this screen, you stay right here with me, you stay focused, come on, playing the pain game. You can call it this comfort game, I call it pain. This doesn't feel good to anything but my mind. All right. You know, so I'm putting my my strap back here in the. I don't even know what these are called. What would I call those? Hmm. The stabilizer. Anyway, hopefully yours is set up because we're going to use this for triceps. So during our next set, if you have 90 seconds, you need to be looking for it. 71. 72. 73. 74, 78, keep those elbows in front, 6, 70, 70, 70, come on, 80, all right, 20 left, we'll be getting into triceps, oh, how are you guys feeling, how would you like somebody videotaping you right now during your 20 second rest, you so pretty are you? Well, that's my life. I love it. I hope I'm inspiring you. I hope you want more. I hope you're pushing yourself for more. I hope you're keeping your elbows in spot. And I hope you believe that this is how you build arms. Be empowered. Redundant effort works. One, two, eighty, three, eighty, four, eighty, five, eighty, six, 
six, eighty, eighty, eight. oh my gosh, eighty, nine, come on, ninety, ooh. <laughs> I just thought about the faces I'm making. I'm sorry guys, you're gonna get to know my personality a little bit through these videos, as well as build the muscle group intended for the video you're watching. This is your last 10. This is it guys. The end of biceps. Slow, deliberate. Clean back, elbows in. One. You see me close my eyes a lot. Cause I go to my happy place. Last one. All right. 90 second rest into triceps. Oh, and you're just gonna have to give me about three seconds before I talk. That's 300 reps of the 10 by 10. 20 second rest, 90 seconds in between sets. Arms hex bar addition. Works fine for me. Oh, the pump is good too. Should be feeling it all through here. Stretch, stretch. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and attach the green bar again. To the outside. All right, now our first set is gonna be behind the neck tricep extensions. So I'm gonna step on my bar. I'm gonna step forward. Actually, I'm gonna leave it here. I'm gonna bring it up behind my head and go. So watch this. The example would be, I'm right here, I'm center, my elbows are in the middle, nothing's crossed. Okay, now I bring it up. I go to here. I bring those back. One, that's your set. Now get ready, we're about to start. Be in position, hopefully you're practicing. The whole point of these videos is for you guys to do what I'm doing, feel comfortable. Now my foot's in front, I can't really get hurt. My elbows are gonna stay in position, and I'm gonna go. One, two, three. Fight to balance. Four, five, six, seven, eight, five, five, five. Ooh, that feels good. Triceps. Good stretch for triceps in between these sets, even though you're already in that position. Just go ahead and put your arm behind you. Twist your arm. Some people pull on the elbow, however flexible you are. Something you can do for active. Grab your bar. Let's get ready to go again. I'm pulling in your grip. Bringing it up. Bring it over. Bring it back. 12. Or 10. Or 10. 15. Next. All right, all right. Well, if you want to think about it, we're 320 reps into arms, or you can think about it, we have 280 left. What's your perception, friends? What are you guys thinking right now? You know what I'm thinking? I'm 10,000 away. 10,000 away from my arms. That's my perception. But don't I feel proud that I'm getting 600 reps closer this morning, this evening, or this day. Two, two three, four, five, oh, 30, all right. Okay. Being real, I'm gonna go ahead and take off this green. I wanna show you guys the proper form, and I could be getting a little bit out of it. If you feel like leaving on the green, you go right ahead. I have a feeling that I'm gonna finish these sets and still get plenty of a great workout with just this blue band. Going for proper form. When I drop the band, you're gonna notice uh, I got rid of this band. You're gonna notice my elbows are gonna stick in just a little bit easier. Keep them close. 
three, four, five, six, nine, forty. Whoa. Ooh, this is gonna be fun. Okay, the discomfort you're feeling that I like to label as pain, that's, that's essentially your, your muscle tissue scarring over, we're making little micro tears right now. And, and the pump, or some consider it pain, that is blood just flooding into the area. That's proof, that's proof that it's working. switch legs guys you'll notice that you'll see me swimming around a little bit up here one way to make sure that you're not over training or under training is to just switch your, your pivot foot here your your base so now it's my left foot forward I'm gonna stick with this blue guys, but it's gonna get a little bit ugly. This is no joke. We're here to get triceps. Biceps already built, biceps already torn, torn apart. Right now, we're using the last little bit of sugar in our systems. We're using the last little bit of the oomph that we have to build triceps. I know you feel the way I do. I know you're resting when I do, and I know you're following the reps when I do. You're not pausing at the top, you're not slowing it down. You're enduring the movement. And the movement, some people get into stalling out, they wanna hold it or they wanna pause. They, they were told for some reason that if you, if you pause and flex, that, uh, that, that'll help with more muscle, right? In some cases that's true, but in most cases, people are just cheating. One, eight, three, eight, four, I didn't skip ahead of myself, did I? I did? So I need to be a 70. Sorry guys, I gotta keep track of this too. I think we have 30 left. What number am I on, Craig? I'm starting on 80. Okay, those were for 70s for those of you that got confused. Tells you how real we are. I'm in here, just playing the X-Bar pain game. Okay, now, didn't mean to get ahead of ourselves. 80. One. Two, come on. Three, eighty, four, eighty, five, eighty, six, eighty, seven, eighty, eight, eighty, nine, ninety. Ooh. Okay, feeling really good about this right about now. Well, I officially have ten left, right? All right. Okay, you guys are twenty seconds away from being done. with this exercise. Then we're gonna take our 90 seconds. We're gonna go again with a different exercise. All right, focus, focus, focus. One, two, three, four, all right, eight, eight. Last one, do it, all right. Oh, bounce around the room, do what you gotta do. Make ugly faces, cry, moan, be mad you're not ripped. Go through the range of emotions that happens when you're in the middle of working towards something. And right now you are in the middle of working towards something. You're in the middle of working toward arms. Arms, they tighten up through resistance training. 
not from cardio. I mean, you can lose some fat from cardio and you will lose fat all over your body from cardio. But I tell you what, there's nothing like training a muscle group. Can you spot train? David, 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 can I spot train to lose fat on my arm? No, but what you can do is you can build the muscle up underneath it, which in a sense will make the fat on top of it look thinner. I promise you, you follow your cardio with some uh, resistance training, essentially you're thinning the skin on the top, the fat layer, and you're building up the layer of muscle. And boy, when those two meet, it is a beautiful thing. All right? So many people I know have lost the fat, didn't build the muscle up underneath, and you know what they ended up? Well, use your imagination. Skinny fat, people call that skinny fat? Yeah, Got this little weird layer of, of fat over them with no muscle. All right. Anyway, for now, I'm gonna go ahead and move the X-bar over to the side. And I'm gonna grab a red. I'm going to stick my foot in front of the red. I'm gonna start with two bands, okay? I'm stick my elbow up right here, and this will be the move. And I just realized that won't be the move. I'm gonna go with one band. One, do not move your elbow. Two, three, come on. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, switch around. One, two, three, four, five. So I put my arm. Six. All right. Now, for fun, I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do the rest of the sets. Stand on the bar. Or excuse me, I'm going to stand on this cable. These things are durable, man. Really like this thing, this is one of the reasons I do. Now you see me stick my butt in the air, elbows back. Spike the hurry. Hey, come on, all right. Bend over, tricep kick back. <laughs> the band is no joke. Oh, flexing it, breathing it in. Oh, stretch it, do what you gotta do. Grab them again, let's go. Come on, elbows in position. One. Try not to round your back. Twenty. Come on. Thirty. Ooh, thirty. Now you're gonna see my elbow moving a little bit on these. It's a very difficult movement. To show you a perfect movement, I'm gonna go ahead and drop set, which is when you drop your weight in between sets instead of in the middle of a set. And we're gonna go with the green for a little bit easier. Well, hell, I'm not gonna make it easier on myself. This isn't easier on me. This is still very hard. I just wanna do lockout position at the top. That's what I wanted. Ready at 40 reps. Okay, come on. Inspiring the world, inspiring the world, inspiring your family, inspiring people at work, inspiring yourself, get motivated, get empowered. If you're doing this work with me, you will end up with arms. No excuses. One, two, 43, come on, 44, come on, 45, come on, 46, 47, 48, 48, Come on, 50. Oh, my heck. Oh, 50. It's working. Got my audio cable here messing around with me. All right. 50, 50, 50, 50, 50. All right. That's 450 exercises we've done. 450 reps. All right, you grabbing them? You ready? 51, 52, 50. 50, 50, 50, 
Si. Oh. 60. Okay. Guys, I'm not worried about that little lower back bend. This isn't enough weight to hurt myself. What I'm worried about is keeping my arm pretty much in one position. I don't want my elbow doing a whole lot. Now granted, it's gonna move. It's gonna almost wanna do a kickback like this. I'm trying to help that, but it's such a small muscle that we're working back here, even though it's tricep, it's way bigger than the bicep. The exercise doing the work, the little muscle group back there. This is not a very big one. 61, 62, 63, 64, 63, 64, 63, 60, 60, 60, Oh, 70. 470, 470 reps. Come on, X-Bar. Team, let's go. You are on the X-Bar team, by the way. Even if this is your first exercise, your first morning turning on your, your computer, TV, wherever you're watching this from, you just join the team. 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 73, 79, 80, oh, 480 reps, you almost got your first profanity out of Mr. Kimberly. You feeling a little lightheaded? A lot of muscle groups engaged when you bend over like that. Still, heart rate is high, even though that's, like I was saying before, a little funky small muscle group that's doing this kickback. Holding this, bad boy position. 81, or excuse me, 82, 83, 84, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, to be out of it, control it. Think about this last 10 reps. Think about how bad you want triceps. You kick them back. You will them into your life right now with me. Come on, I want them too. Two, three, ready, four, ready, five, ready, six, ready, seven, ready, eight, ready, nine, and twenty. It's a hundred. Take a 90 second rest. We have 100 reps left before you are done with this morning, this afternoon, or this day, off to your meeting, off to your life. <laughs> you made it this far, I'm proud of you. In fact, I'm proud of myself. It's not easy stuff. We're gonna finish off with tricep push-ups. How this will be done is your elbows are gonna be in the sides, okay? So you're gonna be here. They're not out here. I'm not gonna be like this. My elbows are gonna be back, okay? It's a, kind of a smaller movement. You will feel it in your triceps. This is body weight. If you guys can't finish, go ahead and finish on your, on your knees, okay? I have no problem finishing on my knees. The reason why is I'm taking a 20 second rest. Another reason why is I saved one of the harder well, I'm not gonna say that the harder. The X bar makes it kind of hard, but push ups, you know, we've all been doing them a long time, so they're not too special. A lot of muscle groups working, but if we really focus and we put your hands in the right position on this bar that enables us to do that, we can prioritize the triceps. So, rather than me ramble, if you have to finish on your knees, do it. Getting into position. Think about why you're here, what you're doing. Who are you doing it for? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now, if you have to switch your hand position, you don't like that close diamond, go ahead and switch it. I'm gonna do both. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch me from here to here. Make sure. You're stable on your footers here. Your stabilizer pads. 
forgive me, I don't know what the heck they're called, but I like them because they keep my knuckles from getting crushed. Let's go. Come on, on our way to triceps. Big, bad loaves of bread. Two, ladies, three, just so your arms don't shake. Four, six, eight. It's 20. We have 80 left, friends. We have 80 left. What's fun is I'm not down here shooting a video for you guys. I'm actually training. I'm counting this as my workout today. I really am. And I'm trying to be the best in the whole world. I, I really am. You think I'd jack myself? Nope. I wouldn't. Two. This is my arm workout. That is 30. Come on, friends. Potential. A new you, a better you, whatever you want to call it. You're working off from 26 to 50 cent body fat, or you just want another inch on your arms. Keep training with me. Keep training with me, and you will find your potential. I'm looking for mine. You know what that makes? That makes us potential seekers. X bar potential seekers. Come on. 41. You better find your inner girl now. That's my tag word. Been using that too much. You guys new to X bar? Gur. Gur is your, your inner animal. Your inner testosterone, your inner estrogen, your inner dreaming nine year old boy or girl. It's that thing inside of you that promised yourself you would push more as an adult. Are you pushing? Would you make that nine year old proud? Come on! Just drop back, sit on your knees. You came here on purpose. Your heart rate is high on purpose. This is a prideful thing. Be proud of yourself. Show up to work on time. Do a good job, get a raise. Does it feel good? That's 60 or 70. That was 70. So now I go 80, 90. Oh boy, we got 30 left, friends. You know what? If we did 110 on this, I wouldn't care. Why? Because that's the potential is. Try as hard as you can. For as long as you can. Okay, get ready to go. Seventy. One, zero, two, zero, three, zero, four, seven, Make sure that you're using your triceps. One of the tricks, don't mean to save it for 80 reps into it, but one of the tricks is definitely to uh, come forward. So a lot of times we do push-ups up here. You just want your arms down here. So when you come down, the bar will sit somewhere right here. 20 left, 20 left at the end of your day. Be proud, get strong, second wind. One, two, three, four, eight, five. Chest too. Oh. 
my triceps are shot, my biceps are gone. There's not a second down muscle group left. Oh, might have a little bit of forearm left. Come on guys, 10 reps left, 10 reps left, 10 reps left. Come on, 10 reps left. David Kimmerly, you just finished arms, 10 by 10. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you on the next one. Oh! oh.